Today we're going to talk about Komodo's abbreviations. They let you save a lot of time by typing little abbreviations rather than full long words and phrases and even, as I'll show you today, uh, whole sections of code. So our sample toolbox has a folder called abbreviations and you can see about a dozen languages plus a general uh, tab there. So for example, here in the JavaScript folder, there's a snippet called class and it defines a fairly bare bone skeleton of a class definition. So let's go into a JavaScript file and access it. I just typed the name of the abbreviation followed by command T, control T on Windows or Linux, and it's now prompting me to type some text. So let's call this class foo. Notice as I, if I delete all the other instances, delete, I then tap here, and I'm now at a next step where I could type a function or a method so if I type method, get a little more information here. Notice again, all the instances update in time. And again, I tab to the body of code there. And I could say, for example, self.x equals val. And the rest is just typing. Uh, these two abbreviations work differently in a Python file. So again, I type class. And now I'm getting Python syntax. So there my class is foo, and I might do something like self.x equals arg0, and then to get a method, click on eth, and again, I get Python syntax. Uh, the nice thing about these templates is if I press escape, everything is hardened. And by that, I mean that um, all of the special codes go out. And if I just type tab, well, I actually deleted that probably don't want that. And that shows you how the templates work. These abbreviations work even um, when the folders are closed. So for example, if I go back to the JavaScript, I type namespace, command T, and there I'm getting the scaffold for a JavaScript namespace. You know, I go in a plain text file and I type class and nothing happens. And what's happening here is we have one general folder which is a fallback. So if I were to type, I only have one abbreviation to find, that's main, and that gives me a shell script. So I'll just show you how we define a snippet. So I go into general, new snippet, call it class, and let's add one of those tab stops, and here we'll say class not defined this language. type class, command T, and I get that, and because it's all selected, I can easily delete it, or I can undo my way back. So that's how that works. Hope you have fun with it. Thanks.